In this lesson, we construct precedence networks from prerequisite tables and use this to find the minimum completion time. Here is a set of tasks, their duration in minutes and their prerequisites. The prerequisite tasks must be completed before the tasks that require them. From the start of the project, we can only begin tasks that have no prerequisites. That is A and B. We can draw arrows representing tasks A and B coming out of the start node. Now task C has task B as a prerequisite. Task D also has task B as a prerequisite. This means that both task C and D must follow on from task B coming out of its end node. Now task E has two prerequisites. It requires both task A and C. This means that the arrows for A and C must come together before task E is drawn. We can erase task C and redraw it so that it combines at a node with task A. Now both prerequisites have combined, we can draw task E. Task F requires both D and E, and so we can redraw task E so that it connects with task D before task F is drawn. Now there are no more tasks to complete, so we mark the finish after our final task F. The network is now complete. If we need to find the minimum completion time, we mark the times to complete each task. The minimum completion time is found as the longest route from start to finish. We have three to get to this node. Along the top, we can have four, or we can have three plus three equals six. We write six because it is the larger number. At the next node, we have a choice of six plus four equals 10, or three plus two equals five. We write 10. Finally, we have 10 plus one equals 11. And so the minimum completion time is 11 minutes. Here is another prerequisite table. We start with the tasks that have no prerequisites. Tasks A and C. Next, task B requires task A. So we draw B coming out of A. Whenever we have a duplicated letter in which there is another letter by one of the other tasks, we will have a dummy link. The dummy link is always drawn from the end of the repeated letter to the end of the other letter. So we will have our dummy link coming out of the end of task B and pointing to the end of task C. Dummy links are shown with a dotted line like so. This connects task B into the end of task C. Task D has just task B as a prerequisite, so it comes out of task B at the top node. However, task E requires both task B and C, so it comes out of the end of the dummy link on the bottom node. This way, B and C both feed into this task. Now task F requires task E. And task G requires task D. Since all tasks are now drawn, these two final tasks must point to the finish. We will now find the completion time. It is 2 to here, 2 plus 1 equals 3, 
the dummy link is worth zero. So we have three plus zero equals three or four. We write four. Three plus five equals eight. Four plus two equals six. Eight plus three equals eleven. Eleven is larger than six plus four equals ten. The minimum completion time is eleven minutes. Visit mathsathome.com for further videos and practice.